Hi, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to Crafters Log. Um, I am going to open up a March box, and this is from the Quilted Cow. Um, they are out of one of the stores that I'm familiar with them is in Branson, Missouri. Um, and this is, uh, they call it Moo, Moo Mail. Um, so cute. Love the box. Pretty heavy. Um, I paid $70 for this box, uh, $60 for the box, and then $10 in shipping. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that there's some good stuff in here um, because uh, this, this is like the most expensive box that I've ever purchased um, for quilt stuff, um, for sewing in that. So let's take a look and see what we're going to get for our $60, $70 when you include the shipping. So I'm excited about it. I just started um, getting these boxes, trying to test out patterns and uh, quality of fabric and just to see what's worth, if it's worth it, because I have a tendency to have FOMO. So when I see people getting it, I'm like, okay, I've got to try it. And sewing has become one of my new things to do. So here we go. March box, the quilted cow moo mail. Wicked cool quilters and sewists. So in this box um, for March, you can do a this or that, which if you can see, it's going to be a look like a tote bag or a pillow. Very cool. And then it's also going to include in the box a couple of, ooh, a couple little cool little gadgets in there. All right, so let's let's get to it. Okay, so we have the pattern for Italia tote. Um, there's a tote. Oh, love the tote. I think I'm going to go for the tote. Um, and it will come with um, a helpful heifer. So most of their patterns you can get. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to show you. Um, let me see. I guess what you need and in the instructions and stuff like that. But it'll give you, um, on your instructions, it'll tell you how much fabric you'll need and, and, and the directions but they call it helpful heifers, totally cool. So it's a flora pillow. So it comes like this with all the um, your measurements and everything. And on the back side, it gives you the instructions on how to do it and a map of how it should be laid out. Very cool. Oh, let's see. So it looks like the fabric that we got is by Ju uh, Juliet by Angela. Mm, oh my goodness. All right, I need my friend Shannon with good eyes. To read this little Angela Nickens, maybe I, I can't see the last name. Five carat crystals. Uh, look at those fabrics, look at those patterns, those are so pretty. Um, and as Jennifer would say, those are wicked cool. Um, all fabric and patterns included to complete either project, so you get the tote or the pillow. Very cool. So you got quarters in there, you got um. Looks like five inch squares and then looks like a uh, fat, fat quarter and maybe a uh, yardage. Um, we got some cute little pins. Hmm. Flowers. Love pins. I don't, I don't, haven't used them a whole lot, but those are cute because they got the little pretties on the ends of them. And then we've got some, who's, I got some thread. Let's take a look at that. Uh, it's cotton. I'm trying to see the maker of it. Amon Group Mettler. Mettler? 100% hmm. cotton. Ooh, love this. Handy dandy. It's heavy. And I'm going to assume that it's magnetic for your pins. Let me, I don't want to open those up yet. Um, oh, yeah. Gotta love one of those because. I have used uh, plastic bowls, just something from the kitchen, and have knocked them over. And uh, those pins are not a good thing to have, just like your uh, uh, toothpicks. I can't have those. And, oh, a bird stiletto, a point turner. Look at that. Very cute. Getting in those edges to make sure your corners come out. I use, um, I use a cro uh, crochet hook most of the time, um, just because I don't have a point turner, but now I got one. And then, oh, a nice little ruler. And that is by uh, oh, Riley Blake Designs. 
and it is a two inch, two inch by eight inch, two inch by eight inch. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to guess that this is going to be um, a tool that's needed to do either one of these projects and just because of the perfect size that it is. And then we have, what else we got? Quilty clips. Oh, ha -ha, look at that. Love the design on the package. And this is also um, Riley Blake. All right. Well, great box. Um, the Quilted Cow is committed to bringing you, let me see, quality fabric, fresh ideas, exclusive items, useful notions, fun projects, and inspiring creativity within. So, um, and if you are familiar, if you're familiar with them, awesome. Let me know if you've tried their patterns. Now from them, I had purchased a package of, um, I'm going to call them recipe cards like this, um, for like maybe 10, I got 10 different patterns. So I think that, um, in future videos, I'm going to pick a pattern. I'm going to try to work it. And there's so many different types of things. Um, I'm really excited about the whole um, the whole bag. I think the, the Alicia tote. Yeah. I'm really excited about making this tote first. Um, just because, um, I like bags for the grocery store, um, for quick trips to, um, the farmer's market. Um, I'm trying to get rid of all that plastic usage and stuff like that. Um, perfectly awesome. So, uh, check out them, um, the quilted cow.com. Um, Facebook lives on, uh, Wednesdays at seven, um, and Tuesdays on their website, um, at 9 a.m. Um, sales are awesome. Their, their patterns are amazing and they have some very fan, they got fantastic designers on there. Um, no, I'm not affiliated with them. This is my first time getting one of their boxes. Um, I haven't even tried one of their patterns yet that I bought off of, um, that I bought off one of their sales. Uh, so, but I'm really excited about this. I am familiar with, um, uh, these fabrics. I haven't opened them up. Um, but I did a review on, uh, a Mrs. Quilty box and the fabric was kind of stiff and, and felt like there was something on it. Um, this here, almost, it feels the same. So they must be just how they're processed when they're, when they're made, um, that just could be something that's similar to it because it's not as so it's softer than what the Mrs. Quilty fabric was. Um, but this is really nice. Oh my gosh. And I'm honestly, I'm used to using um, Joann's, Joann's fabrics. And I usually get the stuff that's on sale um, just because fabric is expensive. And then after having um, a couple um, fat quarters that I purchased um, from Modella, like straight from them, the quality of fabric is just amazing. And I'm really interested in working with this here, especially with this colorway. Um, let me see, I'm gonna pull it out just so we can take a look at um, what this one is. Again, it's Juliet by Angela. Mm, I'm gonna have to look her name up online just cause I can't quite see the last of it. Hmm, okay, but anyway, let me see if I can look, look at your little sneak peek. Might need to turn on the light a little bit too. I didn't realize I didn't have a light on with so much sun coming in, but those are pretty. Let me get the light real quick. <laughs> Look at, let there be light. So can you see those a little bit better? Oh, Look at those, those are gonna be so pretty. I can't wait, I can't wait to try it out. Um, again, um, I will follow up as I'm working on these projects. Um, I'll follow up with maybe some in-betweens when I start because I'm new to this. And so I'm just really excited to get started. Um, and, uh, yeah. Who's your favorite? Who is your favorite fabric supplier or not sub, um, supplier? We got Riley Blake. We got Moda. Um, and then I'm going to draw a blank. Richard? No. Is it Richard? Shame on me. But anyways, I'm excited. And who is your favorite? Uh, who has, who brings out the best 
<sighs> colorways um, that you've enjoyed the most? Um, is there a certain holiday that you prefer fabrics for over, over another one? Um, like I love a lot of the Christmas patterns that, um, that came out last year. They're just stunning. Um, and so, uh, lots of, lots of stuff to make. And, uh, I hope you stick around and enjoy the journey with me and hopefully we can learn something from each other. Um, but otherwise, uh, stay tuned. Um, love this box. I think I'm going to go on a whim and say this was totally worth the $60 um, because you're looking at um, $45 alone just for a bundle like this. So, um, and then you've got your your yardage here. You know, those are usually $12.95 a yard. Um, everybody loves the little clips. Um, Wy um, Riley Blake is great product um and then uh of course the patterns and all these you know these little grids boop boop those are pretty pricey too um so i'm loving it i do totally think it's worth it um i'm going to i'll check back with you and let you know how easy the pattern was to work up for the tote bag and the finished product uh so like and subscribe if you wish um and share with your friends who are in the sewing community or wanting to get started or, um, honestly, for uh, bubbles and pops, you know, stick around for the bloopers that might come around. Um, anyways, have a great day. Happy sewing, and we'll see you soon.